<laughs> this is such a futuristic show. And a shout out to the creative team for that opening projection. My goodness, it was amazing. The routine was fabulous too. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Oh. You're always very kind. <laughs> Why not? Life's too short. <laughs> Helen. Uh, you have a lot of talent, a lot of dance ability. Thank you, And Helen. that was a really good sound, but you always put great choreography together. It's his oh, favourite. You do. No, he's excellent, Gustavo. Wanted to do him proud tonight because... Well, you, you know what, love, you did. You actually just need to believe in yourself a bit more and you could be really quite a threat in this competition. Thank so you so much. So just believe in yourself. Great job. Yay, thank oh, you. Yeah. Ah. Uh, look, I couldn't agree more. You've developed into a really great partnership. And then the trust you have in him now. You know, when you've got this line where your leg goes straight out to the side and then the lift after that, it was just a super duper routine. So look out, team. Serious contender. Woohoo! Wow. How do you follow that, Todd? Olympia, I mean no offence, but no one's watching you because this thing's going off like I a fire. It's like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and, and Gustavo. Gustavo. <laughs> So here's your secret weapon. Um, it was great. I love the way you covered the floor. You chucked bucket loads of samba in it. Your acting at the top, Gustavo, was exceptional. <laughs> it, so was, it was. <laughs> as I was listening to the package too, I just have this real kind of fantasy that when the cameras turn off, he goes, "Oh yeah, that was great, mate." <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Congratulations, you. you did well. Please Thank go you. in orbit the, uh, the lounge over there. Oh, here are our two shining stars. Wow. That was awesome. And when Helen said you just need to believe in yourself, Olympia, do you believe in yourself a little bit more now? Um, definitely something that I do struggle with a lot. Um, and Gustavo... Why, why is that? Why? I don't know. Doesn't everyone feel like they're not good enough? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you're right, yes. <laughs> but then you go, all do. But then you go and put on a dance like that. Yeah! <laughs> that was amazing because yeah, you do have that great dance ability. I can't remember who said it, but what, do you, are you acting? Are you really Italian? Oh, yes, I am. You're acting. Fresh off the boat. <laughs> Start done. <laughs> because I know that um, Gustavo is not acting when it comes to our real life soap opera. And now for a quick recap on Like Sands Through the Hourglass. These are the all stars of our lives. Previously, Olympia left Jared, who since found comfort in the arms of Ricky Lee. Now Olympia is with her Latin lover, Gustavo. But is everything as it seems? Will Helen's identical twin sister return to the dance floor? Will Paul's amnesia prevent him from scoring? And will Todd finally wake up from his coma? <laughs> All that on our next exciting episode. You guys were awesome. Let's get the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores. Todd McKenney. Nine. Helen Ritchie. Nine. Paul Mercurio. Ten. Whoa. Mark Wilson. Ten. That is a total of 38, which is what you scored last time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you're not coming fourth at the moment. Yes, I'm second. I'm second. Yes, yes, you're second. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yes. Is that right? Have oh, we done first, that right? The math. Yeah. Equal lead, actually. Oh. You're first. You're winning. Oh. You're winning. Oh. Daryl. Oh. 